The world's most advanced multi-layer missile defense network is being tested right now by Iran. As the events are unfolding, let's learn about each of the systems. Iron Dome, the short-range shield, operational since 2011 and famous for its ability to intercept short-range rockets, artillery shells, and mortars with ranges of 4 to 70 kilometers. Using the Tamir Interceptor missile, Iron Dome employs the ELM Tenue 4 radar to detect threats and a battle management system to prioritize targets, only engaging those headed for populated areas. Each battery, with three to four launchers holding up to 20 interceptors, costs around $40,000 to $50,000 per shot. It also has a naval version, called the Sea Dome. The Iron Dome boasts a whooping 90% plus success rate, is highly mobile. However, it is very expensive. The $40,000 to $50,000 cost per shot may sound small, but the cost can add up quickly as multiple shots are required for one attack. Also, this system is not very good against saturation attacks in many locations simultaneously, as seen in Hamas's barrage in October 2023. David's Sling, the mid-range defender. Operational since 2017, replacing the older Patriot systems, designed to tackle medium to long-range rockets, cruise missiles, drones, and tactical ballistic missiles with ranges of 40 to 300 kilometers. Using the Stunner missile, which relies on dual CCD and infrared seekers for precision, this system bridges the gap between Iron Dome and higher altitude defenses. Each launcher holds up to 12 interceptors, costing about $700,000 to $1 million each. This system is highly effective against a wide range of threats. However, the high cost per interceptor and reliance on complex radar systems make it less suitable for low-cost threats, such as drones. Arrow 2, the Ballistic Missile Shield, designed to intercept short- and medium-range ballistic missiles in the upper atmosphere, with a detection range up to 500 kilometers and an altitude of 90 kilometers. Arrow 2 employs a two-stage interceptor missile equipped with a fragmentation warhead, designed to detonate near the target for maximum effect. The system relies on the ELM-2090 Green Pine Radar, a phased array system capable of detecting and tracking multiple ballistic missiles at long ranges. The Citron Tree Battle Management Center coordinates tracking, target allocation, and launch, while the Golden Almond Launch Control System manages missile deployment. Developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI, and Boeing, it has been operational since 2000. Each Aero 2 missile costs approximately $1.5 million. Despite its strengths, Aero 2 has limitations, including its high cost per interceptor and its focus on endo-atmospheric interception, which is less effective against advanced missiles with exo-atmospheric trajectories or decoys. This gap is addressed by its successor, which we will talk about right now. Aero 3, the Space Defense. Israel's most advanced missile defense system, targeting long-range ballistic missiles in exo-atmospheric conditions, with a range up to 2,400 kilometers. It became operational in 2017 and uses hit-to-kill technology, relying on kinetic energy rather than a traditional warhead, making it highly effective against ballistic missiles in the vacuum of space. The system's advanced sensors and thrust vectoring ensure high maneuverability, with each interceptor costing about $2 million. Successfully tested in Alaska in 2019, Arrow 3 is a cornerstone of Israel's defense against strategic threats from adversaries like Iran. Though a highly advanced and sophisticated system, its cons lies in the high cost and complexity in production, certainly not ideal in prolonged conflicts. The Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD, developed and operated by the United States, is designed to intercept ballistic missiles during their terminal phase both within and outside the atmosphere, offering protection against short, medium, and intermediate-range threats. Each THAAD interceptor, costing approximately $8 to $15 million, making it a high-cost but highly effective option for neutralizing sophisticated threats that could overwhelm indigenous systems. The system employs a hit-to-kill interceptor missile that destroys targets through kinetic impact, guided by the advanced AN-TPY-2 X-band radar, capable of detecting missiles at ranges up to 1,000 kilometers. The system's ability to intercept at altitudes of up to 250 kilometers allows it to engage threats earlier than lower-tier systems like Patriot or David's Sling, reducing risks from debris or chemical payloads. Iron Beam, the low-cost laser future. Taking a very different approach from all others, Iron Beam is laser-based, aimed at intercepting short-range threats such as rockets, mortars, drones, 
and artillery shells with a range similar to that of Iron Dome, 4 to 70 kilometers. Unlike other high-cost missile-based interceptors like the Tamir, which costs forty dollars to $50,000 per shot, Iron Beam uses a high-energy laser to neutralize targets at a fraction of the cost, only under $1,000 per engagement. Iron Beam employs a ground-based laser system, likely in the 100-150 kW power range, to deliver precise energy that destroys incoming projectiles through thermal damage. Unlike traditional interceptors, it requires a clear line of sight and is affected by weather conditions like fog or dust, posing technical challenges that developers are addressing through advanced optics and power scaling. The system is not yet operational as of June 2025, but is expected to enter service within the next few years, with Israel investing $500 million in 2023 to accelerate deployment.